Hi, my name is Daniel Toledo, and I go by Mr. Toledo. Together we make a change. It's through really listening to each other and being involved with the community and getting to know everyone that lives in the community. The idea for my utility box was empathy. I felt it was something that was really needed during this time just because there was a lot of hate, racism, and just people just fighting amongst each other. And I felt like we just need to stop and listen and show empathy to one each other, communicate and be understanding in a way that I felt like to showcase that is through two people dropping their ego, dropping their their hate and really understand each other and hug it out. I put leaves and oranges as a symbol. These two people are showing growth as they're willing to let go of these things and pay more attention to things that matter most. Well, I didn't grow up or lived in Long Beach, but I would come a lot because they had a like, bunch of interesting events like powwow, ink and drink, a lot of things that involve the community of artists coming together and hanging out and just having a good time, just creating together. As a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons, read comics, and I always wanted to try to draw that, you know. I would say one of my influences was my uncle's, because he used to do a lot of gangster tattoo art, and I thought that was pretty cool. And then Batman, I guess, was a big influence when I was a kid from what my mom told me. So I've been doing art since I was a little kid, and depending on what I was into at the moment, I would be like, drawing or painting that. So I started from like drawing cartoons to anime to graffiti to realism and now doing murals. So through the years, I guess my art has evolved and has helped me learn like different styles and giving me like, okay, I really like doing this. So I'm gonna focus more on doing that at the moment. So I get bored of it and switch to something else. For my personal art, I usually focus on things that I'm dealing with at the moment through like either love, friendship. Well, I used a lot of spray paint on the utility box, but in the beginning, I would use like a pencil and a brush just to sketch everything out and make sure everything's aligned because I'm working in like four different sides. But in my work, I, I like to experiment using mixed media, so using acrylics, using oils, Using both of them, I used to do watercolor, pens, markers, you know. There's so many materials you can use, so you don't just have to be stuck in doing one, so it's fun. Spray paint isn't easy. It, it takes a lot of time to learn. For me, I was kind of more self-taught when using spray paint just because it was me and my friends just practicing doing graffiti and tagging, so we used whatever we had by cheap spray paint and it it's a skill that takes a while to learn you know not anyone can pick up a spray can and paint a realistic portrait it took me years even though i can paint pretty good with a brush spray paints a whole different thing well being in long beach i felt like there's such a big community of artists and when i moved here they welcomed me with open arms. Everyone was so cool and they all were willing to work together and we threw like own shows. So it's awesome, like I get to work with a bunch of like artists that I look up to and they're gonna be like the next big thing that I know of. To me, it feels great being able to do art where it's not just locked up in a gallery or in someone's personal house. It's somewhere where the whole place, like everyone can like walk by and see it and they feel like they can relate to that art because it's their community. It's not only how I feel like it represents the community, but it's a way that they share their stories to me and I try to express that through art.